Don't you think that the West uh, in some way underestimates the dangers which uh, the so-called uh, Serbian world uh, pose, given the fact that uh, Serbia is still uh, ruled by the people of Slobodan Milosevic. For example, Aleksandar Vucic, the current president of Serbia, was his right-hand man. He was the Minister of uh, Information. Yeah. Yes, indeed, uh, uh, when we are discussing the issues between, uh, let's say, our relations between Kosovo and Serbia and with international uh, officials, with, uh, let's say, European representative, politi political representatives, we are uh, elaborating uh, the, the situation and, and, and uh, we ask them to treat very carefully the position of Serbia and their approach because, uh, uh, as you mentioned, uh, the government of Serbia, the president of Serbia, they are from, I mean, they are the same from the past, they are uh, still thinking the same for the region, they are still aiming to have Serbia, uh, you know, on, on the, let's say, on the territories which were occupied before, like in the case of Kosovo, we were occupied by Serbia for, for decades and decades. So, uh, of course, uh, the European community, especially international community, should uh, have, uh, let's say, a uh, clear vision on, on this that uh, Serbia didn't change. There is no transformation of, of the, the way of thinking about the, the, the future. And uh, I do not see that with this, uh, let's say, establishment, political establishment on uh, Serbia, we can think of, uh, let's say, having the the same values or promoting the values of NATO and EU within Serbia or within the region. So for this uh, we see, and from my personal opinion is that Serbia is uh, a biggest uh, obstacle in the, in the region in this, in this regard. We see the approach of, of the government of Serbia and uh, what is more important is the influence, big influence of Russia on Serbia and in Republika Srpska in Bosnia and Herzegovina we see a potential risk from coming from Russia, but through 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 Serbia, uh, to somehow uh, let's say put in danger, let's say security issues in in, in Western Balkan area, especially in uh, the north of Kosovo and also in Bosnia and Herzegovina. As you mentioned, in uh, May last year, we have had uh, several demonstrations from uh, criminal gangs uh, which came from Belgrade and from Serbia. And with the influence of Serbia, they made so many attacks on uh, K4 troops and also in the Kosovo police and all, all including journalists. Uh, I don't want to forget them also in other institutions. So after that, uh, of course, we have had also a terrorist attack, a terrorist attack in Bańska in uh, north of Kosovo, which uh, of course ended with uh, three terrorists killed and one of the police officers of the Republic of Kosovo. Afrin Bunyaku, which was on duty that night and uh, the, let's say they were attacked by the terrorists and uh, he, he died by uh, doing uh, his best for his country. So taking into account also these events and uh, also the approach of the Serbian government and uh, also the new government uh, on which we are having uh, almost uh, a part of it on the blacklist of USA, UK and other Euro European countries. So we see a potential of, of uh, let's say, tensions uh, and also some kind of approach of having uh, uh, the idea from Serbian politicians that uh, they, they want the territories of other countries and neighbor countries. So in this case, uh, uh, I'm using also the opportunity during the three days of the NATO Parliamentary Assembly here to, to discuss with colleagues about these issues and uh, the good thing is that uh, almost uh, all the delegations here, they are having the same approach, the same feeling that uh, uh, the international community, especially NATO, should take care so much about the situation in the Western Balkans and uh, I'm happy that uh, I see this kind of uh, let's say, importance uh, also during the m meeting here.
In short, uh, what should uh, Pristina and Sofia as allies do in order to stop, uh, to prevent uh, the copy of the Serbian of the Russian world, uh, the Serbian world, to uh, achieving its goals in the Balkans? Mm -hmm. uh, I discussed also with the ambassador of Kosovo here in Sofia, and uh, Mr. Haji Bayraktari. He is so much uh, in contact with the EU institutions, Bulgarian government especially, so. Uh, I'm very much happy with the good relations which we are having with Bulgaria. Uh, I expressed my, uh, let's say, thanks to the Minister of uh, Defense of Bulgaria today and uh, also uh, Admiral who presented uh, in, the, in the NATO PA here today uh, about the contribution given to, to, to NATO troops from Bulgaria in Kosovo. So basically uh, we see one of the ways that, uh, yeah, Increasing the support for NATO in Kosovo by Bulgaria, we see as, as a, the key key aspect on on the uh, let's say in our joint efforts for uh, either avoiding the influence of Russia in the in the region or uh, resisting the let's say approach of Serbia towards the nations like uh, Kosovo or Bosnia and Herzegovina and others.